Breaking now as we come on the air, police say the threat has been neutralized after an active shooter situation in Mount Horeb. This happened at the Mount Horeb Middle School on Garfield Street just hours ago. Police say they responded after a suspect was seen armed with a rifle considered dangerous. Caroline Dade has been live outside the district all day. Caroline, what have we learned about this so far? Amber and Brandon, the truth is there's still a lot we're waiting to learn. Right now, I'm about a block away from the middle school. You can actually see it right behind me. Kids are still inside. Law enforcement still has roads near the middle school blocked off. And we're waiting for law enforcement or school officials to give us an update about what happened in person. But so far, there's no word yet on when that will happen. So let's go ahead and walk through what authorities have said so far. Just after 1130 this morning on Facebook, the Mount Horeb Area School District said there had been an active shooter at the middle school this morning. The district says the shooter never got inside the building and the district went into a full lockdown. Law enforcement from across Dane County started to pour into Mount Horeb and they've been here all day. A little more than an hour ago, we got the latest update from district leaders again on Facebook. They say students will remain in buildings while police are investigating. One of the students in the high school right now was is Sylvia Broussaud's son. She told me earlier today this is a terrifying moment for family. She's been keeping in close contact with her son through texting all day. She said days like today are what make her very glad that there are cell phones and that her son has one. So what we know so far is that the school again is not releasing students until police are done with their investigation. Then that's when the reunification process will start. Now on a normal day, classes at the high school and middle school would end at 320. Today, though, anything but normal. Kids are still inside both those buildings, and we don't know how long that will last. Reporting live in Mount Horeb, Caroline Day, 27 News. A terrifying day for that community. Caroline, thank you for that update. And a number of officials have released statements after today's incident. Governor Tony Evers said on X, quote, I am praying for the health and safety of our kids, educators, and staff, and grateful for the first responders who are working quickly to respond. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi released a statement in which he said to the people affected, no words can say enough of how much we as a community are here for you and grieve with you. Dane County is a close-knit community. We are here for you and will continue you to be.